Live. News 8 at 5 starts now. A scary scene this morning on I-84. Two large trucks end up in the water. We'll tell you what witnesses are saying about this deadly crash. And good evening. I'm Ann Nyberg. And I'm Katherine Hauser in for Darren. A crash on I-84 East has left one person dead and sent, as you just saw, two tractor trailers into a nearby pond. News 8's Tina Detell has been on the scene since this morning. She has the latest from Ashford. Both of these tractor trailer trucks have now been pulled from the water, but it was no easy task. It wasn't until mid-afternoon that the second tractor trailer was finally pulled from Moray Pond. A crane and heavy-duty wreckers had to first upright it and then try to maneuver it out of the water. State police say it was just before 2 a.m. when the two tractor trailers somehow collided on I-84 eastbound near the exit 72 on-ramp. Both of them went into Moray Pond. One remained upright, but the other was upside down. The DOT confirmed to News 8 this morning that one person had died. I've been here 24 years, and this is the third truck that's gone in the pond, so yeah, it's, it's a little sad. The crash closed I-84 eastbound in Ashford for several hours, sending traffic off of Exit 72 and past Jamie Lewandowski's house. I woke up this morning at like 5.30, and just a ton of traffic going by the house, which is unusual. The left lane reopened at 9.30, allowing one lane of traffic to slowly pass by the crash scene for most of the day. An accident reconstruction unit from the state police is investigating how this accident happened. Nancy Blackmer, who owns Cash's Country Store, says the weather last night was not good. Some squalls and then rain and squalls, but it was definitely windy. Besides worrying about the drivers, it's it's sad to know what's going to happen to all the wildlife in there with all the accidents in the water. News 8 was told booms were put out to contain a fuel leak from the big rigs. We reached out to the DEEP to find out if there are any environmental concerns beyond that. Oh, there's a ton, ton of turtles there, so I just hope that all the turtles are safe. <laughs> there's so many beaver families and, you know, my fiancé fishes in here, so... After both of the trucks were pulled out of the water, crews remained to remove any debris still left in the pond. In Ashford, Tina Detell, News 8.